going to be something a little bit different than I normally do. Instead of me doing makeup on myself, I'm actually going to be doing makeup on one of my friends. Her name is Carmen and um, I thought it would be kind of a good idea to film me doing her makeup. So yeah, we did like a peachy shimmery eye kind of look on her with some winged eyeliner, eyelashes, and the full shebang. I kind of went all out. And she doesn't normally wear this much makeup, so it's always fun to do her makeup and, you know, transform her to something she's not normally used to, but she absolutely loves it. So if you guys want to see how I did her makeup, then just keep on watching. So to start off this look, I'm going to be moisturizing her face. And what I'm using is the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Face Lotion with coconut milk and some really good ingredients. Um, I am using my hands. I did wash them beforehand. And she's my friend, so she doesn't care. And I'm not a professional makeup artist. So you're going to see me do some things that not normal makeup artists will do. So this is a really great face lotion for those of you who have really dry skin. To prime and conceal her eyes, I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape. As you guys know, it's one of my favorites. And she does have some pretty um, hyperpigmentation on her eyelids, so this is really great to conceal all the colorness she has there. Now, the palette I'm going to be using today is, I'm sorry guys, I'm going to be using the Hill palette again. And I'm mainly going to be using that those two bottom rows that you see there to create this look. I promise I will get with some new palettes, guys. And um, I am just grabbing one color from my Morphe Times Kathleen Light palette. It's just that matte, uh, white kind of cream shade. The Jaclyn Hill palette doesn't really have um, a shade like that. So this is just used to set down the concealer I had put on her eyes. Next, I'm going to be grabbing that warm um, brown color. And I'm going to be focusing that mainly all around the lid. I start in the crease in the outer corner. But you will see that I sort of just blend it all around. Put it on the lid kind of as an overall color. Because this is just going to be our transition. And sort of kind of help all of the other colors blend. So just, you know, pack this color on all over until you have a good um, transition. Now I'm going to be grabbing this peachy orangey color from the palette, which is going to be the main color focus that I'm going to try to um, bring out in this look. And I'm going to mainly focus this color on the outer half and in the crease of the eyes. So just kind of pack on that color as well until you get a nice pigmentation. And um, I use a fluffy brush to do that. Then I'm grabbing a small precise uh, blending brush and grabbing this like mocha chocolate color and I'm mainly going to focus this only on the outer corners of the look. I thought this look needed just a little bit more dimension so that's why I decided to add this brown. Um, but just a little bit on the outside to uh, kind of smoke up this look a little bit. And I'm sorry for the angle uh, that I have you guys at. I thought it had a good angle, but then I looked back and I thought it was a little bit too up. Um, and then I just grabbed this uh, blending brush from Sigma with no product on it just to kind of blend all the colors together. So um, there's just Carmen showing you the eyes so far. Then I'm going back in with that peachy color um, from the Jaclyn Hill palette with that same brush. And I did grab some color and I'm going to focus that kind of like in the inner half of the eye to add some color there and then I'm going to be grabbing my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer with that concealer brush and I'm just placing this in the inner half of the eye you guys have seen me do this before and I only mainly do this because I want those colors to pop out that I put on top so you don't have to be too precise and here I horribly attempted to show you the shimmery shade I picked but it was like a pinky um, light pink shimmery shade from the palette but then I did go back in with this white shimmery shade from the palette because I thought it was too pink and I didn't want that um, to go with the, the peachy colors I had so I put that on top and then with the fluffy brush I'm blending both of those colors and I'm going to be going back into the crease to blend it all together and so you'll just see me do that on both sides just to make it really nice and uh, peachy and warm and then I just place more of that shimmery shade on top of where the inner half of the eye is. Next I'm grabbing my Wet n Wild Mega Eyeliner in the color black 
and it was really difficult to do an eyeliner on somebody when you're like at a weird angle but um I was able to do it I did mess up a little bit and had to clean it up with a q-tip here and some makeup remover um, and after I did I realized it was kind of um, off so I had Carmen actually do her own eyeliner on the other eye because she's good at doing eyeliner and um, I thought I'd rather have her do it than me risk in messing it up. Alright, and so now I'm just curling her eyelashes with my Revlon eyelash curler. And then I put some mascara on her eyes. You can use any mascara. I used the Smashbox one um, that I had with me. And so I just co coated both her lashes. Next, I just moved on to her eyebrows. And I used first a pencil to trace out the shape that I wanted. I kind of used her original shape. She has a pretty good shape. And then I blended it out. So there's just the shape. And then I went in with both of these colors from my Tonya Crooks Brow Powder Palette. And I filled them in. I didn't want to make them too dark or too harsh. So I kind of just kept them natural as I possibly could. And now we're just moving on to her face. I'm priming her face with my uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I used two foundations for her face. I used my Tarte Amazonian Clay and my NYX Control um, control drops or total control so I used both because one of them is more um, heavy coverage and the next one is kind of light coverage and I mixed both of them because uh, um, I didn't really have one that matched her skin as well and so I first used a brush this is from Real Techniques to buff it into her skin and really uh, blend it out and then I did go in with my Echo Tools um, blending sponge to just make it look nice and airbrushed and blend it out nice and good. I'm using my Sharp Tape Shape, no surprise, for my under eye concealer um, to really highlight her face. She does have some um, pretty dark circles. You can't see them too bad on camera, but she always complains about them. So I use this concealer to, you know, really brighten up underneath the eyes and, um, you know, hide away all that darkness. So just use you know, a beauty blender, any sort of um, beauty sponge that you have to blend it all out. And as you saw, I put it on her nose and her forehead. And then I went in with this uh, Makeup Collections translucent powder to set under the eyes and anywhere where I put the concealer. So I'm just going into my Wet n Wild contouring palette using the Dulce de Leche shade from that palette, my favorite. And with another Real Techniques blending brush, I'm going to be um, warming up her face, bronzing slash contouring. I mainly used it to warm it up because she's a little, you know, pale. And then I just grabbed a fluffy brush to dust away the rest of that translucent powder that I had left underneath her eyes. And for blush, I'm using my Wet n Wild Color Icon um, blush in the color Mellow Wine and going to be putting that on the apples of her cheeks. And then um, I went back to the eyebrows to set them and I'm using the Brow Gal Tonya Crooks Brow Gel and I'm just going to be um, brushing that on her eyebrows. And then I went back into the eyes to do the under um, eyes and blended that first color um, underneath. And then I went and grabbed that peachy color from the palette. Also blended it out, you know, doing the same thing as you guys have seen me do before. And then I just grabbed a fluffy brush to blend it all together. I grabbed a very small, precise uh, eyeshadow brush and grabbed the chocolate shade from the palette. For lips, I used two shades. I used the ColourPop color in November and the Tartus lip paint in Delish, I believe. I started with the Tarte one first and then I ended up with the color November from ColourPop. I used a little um, lip brush to really um, line her lips and make them look all even. And that is the finished look, guys. It is really nice with that peachy color and the rosy lips. I really loved how it came out and Carmen really loves it. So here I'm just having her pose for you guys so you guys can have a close up of the eyes. Don't her green eyes just make those colors pop? I am so jealous. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed how it came out. I love how it came out. She has like these pretty green eyes that I'm just so jealous of. And with the orange, it, it kind of matches her eyes because she has a little bit of orange in her eyes as well. So we did this peachy look with the rosy lip, and I just love it so much. What do you think about it? I love it. Are you just saying that because no, I'm your I friend? Do. <laughs> I do. No. I was talking to her earlier saying that she only does foundation, eyebrows, mascara, and... That's it. What else? An eyeliner, right? Yeah. She don't even wear bronzer or blush or anything. I'm like, how can you do that? So 
I'm trying to convince her to learn, and she says she wants to learn, but she never does. So I will learn soon. She's gonna pop out this baby, future. and she's gonna start <laughs> wearing some makeup so she can be a glam mom. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss on any of my videos. Turn on the notification bell so you guys know exactly when I post my videos, exactly the moment that they go live. And like this video if you liked it. And just comment down anything below of any future videos you want to see me do. Or if you want to see me do more videos with Carmen. Maybe like some different makeup videos or some challenges. Something. We'll see. So. Alright guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everybody.